Currently lead the risers by 13 points. During the break, Senator Jingue Estrada was able to hit the half court shot during our Suzuki shootout. Pero iko confirm pa natin sa Suzuki kung italagang iya award kay Senator Jingue yung Avenis na motor, no? But if they do award the motorcycle to Senator Jingue, ipaparapol niya dito sa mga tao dito sa Orion Sports Complex. Well, that's gonna be a treat for the fans watching here at the venue. But so far, the numbers here after the first 20 minutes of action. But the was actually off to a good start. In fact, they were able to keep the game close after the end of the first quarter after leading by as much as 7 points in the opening frame. But the Knights opened up their defense really well in the second quarter, holding Bataan scoreless for the most part of that quarter number two. Oh, oh and uh, if you look at the numbers, I choose this number, uh, Javi, because okay, itong five three-pointers nitong uh, San Juan happened do sa mga, sa mga bench players na nila. And the three uh, three-pointers naman nitong uh, Bataan coming from the San Juan Knights, they need to do everything consistently. And speaking about bench players, Puro of the bench players ang nangunguna sa scoring dito para sa San Juan Knights. You saw earlier Soberano and Malonzo leading the way in double figures combining for 21 points on the other side. 20 points in the game both for Mike Malonzo and AC Soberano. Yeah, it, it, that one is a testimony why this San Juan team is again the one of the hottest team here in the MPB, uh, MPBL right now. Seven game win. About a 34 for San Juan here in this game from the great beyond. But they're not doing so bad themselves at 8 out of 22. But it's really been the turnovers and the bad decisions that they've made. Especially when the Knights go on a run. Heves Sazon might be too late of a basket for uh -oh. San And the timing also of the three-pointers kasi ng San Juan. That really had... Ayun yung mas hit eh. Especially itong three three-pointers the AC Soberano in this quarter. Because they really have a knack for hitting those three-point shots in timely fashion at the San Juan Knights. When you feel like you're already on a good run, when you feel like you're getting back into the game, siguro down ka na ba eh? Just 10 or maybe 8, 7. Biglang kakamada mo lang sa labas itong San Juan eh. Oo. Oh, oh. And, and uh, who does that? Alam mo yun, <laughs> ang, ang mabigat yung uh, dome, dome nakatatlong sunod na 3-pointer pero yung 5 points ni Orlan Wamar ayun yung, ayun yung talagang dagger sa akin Wamar uh, even if he came off the bench today still was able to hold this San Juan Knight squad down the fort that's a miss coming from Ives Sazon Jeff Santos has been a non-factor here in the second half only his second 3-point shot of the game 2 to 78, under a minute to play here. Santos will foul. They're gonna try to make San Juan miss from the free throw line. And these are the moments that you're gonna regret that why is it we're not yet still in the, pen in the penalty? Uh, that's just, uh, but the rise, riser's second team foul. 51 seconds to go. San Juan looking like they are on the way to their 8th straight victory. Omar with the basketball. Soberano will be fouled again. That's second to the last team foul to give here in the quarter for the risers. Imagine, no? in both uh, teams natin, itong uh, San Juan and uh, Pampanga, both North Division number one teams. Ang nakatalo sa kanila pareho, Rizal, eh, no? Yun na nga, eh. uh, Rizal has developed that reputation as the giant slayers this season. And you know, many people will say that hindi mo naman pwede i-count yung game against Rizal if you're Pampanga because Balti wasn't there. Oo, oh, pero... But still, you know? Oo. Oh, Ito nga, dami ko walang player ng San Juan, eh. 
walang kugnatan, walang kalisahan, walang sakariwang. I still gotta give a lot of credit to Rizal for being able to win that game. And plus, you know, that was their first game of the season, both for Rizal and Pampanga. Hindi rin naman talaga biro, kahit naman wala si Balti doon. Imagine mo naman yung mga players doon sa Pampanga. Enzo Serrano, Chef Viernes. Yung Rizal team na yun, hinahanap ko na lang yung kanilang 7-8 guy. Because the first six consistently delivers. Widely yung, siyempre, led by Alwin Alday and Cranial Villorio. Sabi nga, great season right now. Pero kailangan mo pa rin ng additional. Pity that they lost Keith Agovida to a trade midway through the season. He transferred back to the Davao Occidental Tigers because, in my opinion, Agovida was actually tremendous for them off the bench. In fact, giving them a lot of stability. Actually, kung nandun pa, if they were able to keep Agovida there, tapos uh, nakuha nga nila si Bam Gamalinda. Uh, Ay, mausapan niya. Oo, oh, <laughs> mausapan na. Kaso ang usapan pa rin doon, nasa North Division pa rin kayo. Ay, nga, eh. <laughs> uh, si Kip, well, currently, Rizal right now is number seven. They're trying to hold on to that spot in the Northern Division playoff picture. So imagine ten teams fighting for that eight uh, playoff spot. Pero, alam, ay naglalaban. Yung 5, 6, 7, 8. Pwede may pag-asa pa yung 9, 10, and 11 place eh. Currently, behind Caloocan are Valenzuela at number 9, Quezon City at number 10, Pangasinan at number 11. Uh, Pangasinan's game on Saturday, that will be very crucial against South Cotabato. Oo naman, kasi they need to jack up wins. Pero again, mahaba pa naman kasi halos 10 games pa per team eh. That's correct. Well, for Pangasinan, it's only 8 games remaining. Because they have already played out 20 matches this season. Congratulations to the San Juan Knights for getting their 8th straight victory here. 17th overall against one loss. But the Unrisers, they tried but a lot of turnovers really doomed them in this game. Our best player is none other than AC Soberano. Gotta give a lot of credit to Mike Malonzo for playing out a good game. But coach, you have to go with AC Soberano, our best player of the game. Brought to you by Daily Fantasy. Dito sa Daily Fantasy, hawak mo ang laro. Oh, do you know the recipient of great plays? Thank you, Javi. Our Daily Fantasy best player of the game, no other than AC Soberano. First of all, congratulations, AC. Kanina pinag-uusapan lang natin on top of our coverage na ikaw ang number one sa three-point shooting dito sa ating liga. Pero ngayong gabi, parang si Nampolan mo kami, ano? With your seven uh, three points made in this game. Um, siguro, wow. yun nga, kasi nga, yung past games ko, three to four games, off ako. So, thankful ako sa trust na binigay sa akin ng teammates ko, sa coaches. Ayun, lagi lang nila ako pinupush na yung tiwala nila sa akin is 100% every practice. Kahit hindi ako, di ako makashoot, shoot mo lang. Tige, para uh, papasok din yan. So, ayun, nagbunga naman. And, syempre, hindi naman, di naman mga Ayan yun kung di ko wina-work out. Yun. Ayun, wala akong masabi. Tama nga, no? Nagbunga yung hard work at tiwala sa'yo. And maganda ang naging pasok ng August sa inyo. But it's not gonna be an easy month para sa San Juan. Dahil sunod-sunod yung malalakas nyo na makakalaban. Now that you are out man, paano nyo sila pinagahandaan? Siyempre, ganun pa rin. Yung intensity sa practice. Nag-enjoy kami lagi. May minsan nag nagkakaproblema pero nakaayos naman na pag-uusapan. So, yun lang. Yun siguro yung sekreto namin is enjoy lang and trust your teammates and trust the system. Yun lang. Alright. AC, meron ko bang gustong matino pa salamatan? Oo. Oh, so, thank you kay Senator Jingo Estrada, Boss Jeremy Go, Congressman Brian Yamswan, Boss James Go, sa mga sponsors, Go for Gold, Four Piece Party List, Alaksan FR, Fin and Claw Grill, Jesho Amusop, Bicol Saro Party List, Power Hoop Sports Clothing at sa lahat ng mga San Juan Enos. And sa mga taga Turlock na sumusuporta sa akin lagi. And sa mama ko, Monet, si wife, uh, sa uh, anak ko, mga pinsan, mga kapatid, and sa mga tropa, 1914 at Athletics, uh, PT, PTA, and PND. Yan, shout out. Yun lang. Alright, thank you so much. Once again, that is AC Soberano, our best player of the game, brought to us by Daily Fantasy. Dito sa Daily Fantasy, hawak mo ang laro. Back to you guys. Maraming salamat, Andrea. Congratulations here at the Orion Sports Complex in Kamalig, Bataan. For my partner, Coach Louis Gonzalez, our courtside reporter, Ms. Andrea Indiso, and for all the hardworking men and women of our production crew, this has been Javi Balanya saying goodnight from Kamalig, Orion, Bataan. This has been the Maharlika Pilipinas Basketball.
Basketball League ang liga ng bawat Pilipino.